I'm awake! I'm drinking! I literally, I'm gonna have some whiskey. Hey, wake up. I, I'm awake. I'm awake! I'm awake. Thank Wait, you. what's your problem? Our That's problem. fucked up. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Why I don't really know why that would be the case. Uh, I mean, can I we've had issues it? with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Cave, then up there. Okay, I can do that. No problem. Yeah, up here, down there, past my poop hut, and then straight up. Got it. God, this looks scary as shit. This reminds me when I climbed that mountain. That was scary as fuck. Some of it, some of it was scary. Some of it was fine. The scary bits were the bits that we weren't supposed to actually do. We were supposed to not go that way, but we did. Have to report the fog. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? It was alright. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there? No. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... No. We're... <sighs> I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Ooh, my leg was like shit. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Hey, oh. Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. What? I'm absolutely sure. What? Would you? Yeah, All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, mm. uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Yeah. Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. Before. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Mm, seems a bit Good. defensive. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oh, no, don't leave me! Oh! No, I'm scared. I'm alone now. I don't like this. I can see the wire. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. I am. Got it. I'm following. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Hold on. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know... Use abandoned shitters at your own peril. Use abandoned mean shitters. That I'm in the right area. I do believe uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Okay, but what about this old cabin that I've just found? Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello. Oh, okay I then. I don't know that. This one isn't going to be one, two, three, four, is it? I bet it isn't. Oh well, no, it is okay. That's I was just, I just it looked different. Well, we're we gonna put the hat on, mate, because I'm a fucking fire dude. Oh shit! Okay, this place cray cray. Well, that wasn't very fun. There. That was that was not a fun place to be at. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's yeah. like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Okie dokie! First, I'm gonna open this box, then. 
Is that just when people like finish locking up? They just like scroll it, just so people so it's not on the code. Dave, hey -o, I got the note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon, helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know, amigos, professionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with the live stuff. You get it later, Ron. That doesn't seem that nice, actually. I was like, no. No, you don't want to meet up with me. Oh, for God's sake, just clean up your shit. For fuck's sake. God damn it. I know I'm on Firewatch, but really, you know, I'm just generally tidying up the area. Keeping keeping nature clean. So, I don't know, I'm just really suspect about this game, that's the thing. With being broken into and stuff. I'm just... I'm just suspect that it's it's going to be some sort of horror. And I, lo I love horror games, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I'm just not expecting it completely. And then you're like, fucking hell. How much beer did they fucking have? This is insane. What does that say? Go. I say go to hell. Son of a bitch. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut, cut. deliberately. <clears throat> snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They mm. also left us a, a message. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Ah, shit. And then what? Where are they? I... Kill them! I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole okay. the sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. Okay. I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. Okay. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. A dagger in there? Shit. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Brian well, Goodwin. You could always pilfer it for supplies. I will. Whoa! Oh, cool. I can take pictures. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Cool. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Nice. Wait, wait who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn in. She knows who that is for sure. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just yeah. haven't heard that name. Oh, I'm not as again. Ex lover? What was he, a fella you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12 year old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check... 
And the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Okay, I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, with the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Devil's Spot. Okay. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No. No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay, wow. <clears throat> I assume we're heading towards the smoke. Yeah. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. Well, it looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Right, we have to make a stand here and go. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! Where are you running to? Where are you running to? 